So let's do something else. Let's get into some rhythm. Let's get into some movement. And we have <laughs> Daba, <laughs> Mr. West African Drumming. And um, Daba is the um, head person with West African Drumming here in um, Ashland. And so we're here to get our energies moving. We're going to have a lot of different movement of our energies, hearts, bodies. So introduce yourself and, and go for it. All right. Thank you, David. And uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out and being here. Uh, my name is Jauda. The name was given to me by my adopted father from Guinea, West Africa. His name is Mamani Keita. And that's where I learned um, how to play this drum and also learned a lot about the culture of West Africa, in particular the mundane culture. Um, David asked me to speak a little bit about what peace means to me. And so I just wanted to share a little bit of that. This drum uh, represents peace and joy uh, in the mundane. And you can see there's a line down the center of the drum. <coughs> in the mundane, that represents the equator. And they say that um, when you play this drum, um, you're playing with joy and peace, and you're bringing it to the entire world. So you play on both sides of the equator. To me, uh, peace is really about changing the dynamic of power over, which seems to be taught uh, at every single level of indoctrination into our society, um, and changing that into equality and co-creativity. So um, I'm just going to play a little bit. Um, I have no direction other than to offer a prayer of peace to start with. and um, so. We'll see where it goes. First thing, I'm going to get my sleeves out. <laughs> There's one more thing I want to talk about the drum. It just came up for me. This drum, um, you can see the shape of it looks kind of like a goblet. Mm -hmm. It originates from the mortar and pestle that the women would um, use to pound the, um, the grain, turn it into, into wheat or whatever, you know, for food. And they would walk around, there'd be two or three of them with sticks pounding, and they would be creating rhythms and singing. Mm -hmm. And out of that, well, that was the inspiration for this drum. Mm -hmm. So I just want to bear in mind that the women are truly like the key, particularly for this. And I look to the women also and the children as the direction that we're headed in.
Yeah, they're literally moving. 